All right, this is gonna be a little longer. We're gonna do this entire room. This is Botkin. This was originally purchased by the consigner at the Pam Auction several years ago. This is one of our Hilda Neely's, actually our only Hilda Neely. That is a really nice early Frank Carson, 1918. How about that? One of several Jackson Lamberts. This is also coming from the White Horse Inn. We've got a few little condition issues. Another one of our Daisy Hughes. Love her work. We have three others. This is Judith Fulner. And Lyle Butts up there. Love his colors. This is the Jim Forsberg. It's got some sort of foxing issues here, but it is a dark or paper and one of two Afons. These are from Nappy and I love this. This is Central Park. It's really one of his best, I think. And then there's a nice still life down there. Oops, there we go. It's nice with the seagull. All right, uh, Glotzer is the name, 1961. Just a nice piece, it's a nice frame. And Humphreys, an early piece. Eh, some condition issues, but beautiful. All right, this is the Jackson Lambert. It's a big one. And stepping back here to, again, see some perspective. This Jackson does have some flaking that's going on, especially in that black area. Uh, he obviously didn't prime that very well, but it actually works well having that blue coming out. All right, um, Beecham. Great piece. This is and I do apologize, I forget your name, but it's a nice piece. It's called The First House on the Pamet. Then we come down here to Sandor Bernath. This is uh, unusual for us to have a piece that is a boat. Usually it's those great, intense watercolors of Provincetown. Tony Vivers, this is a, um, yeah, what am I trying to say? Collage, mostly fabric, some paper. And RK Loud is the name, big piece. I'm gonna make sure, you know, there's flaking. It could be touched up. And another one of the Sal Del Deos. It's beautiful. I think the piece on the auction site looks a little darker than it actually is. There are some little tiny flakes there. All right, so we have more Smith. It's an early piece. Pretty? Okay. Coming up here, Dorothy Lake Gregory. One of the nicer ones we have. Other two Vonderheights. Those are unsigned. Nas is the name. I forget your first, and I apologize. And again, I apologize. I'm really bad with mm -hmm, your name. Uh, but there are two of them in the auction. All right, these great William Littlefield collages. This one in particular is really nice. Okay, two lots of these oils, Ray Nolan's. Love that piece of cake. <laughs> so somebody who wasn't in their right mind decided to spray paint these gold. So perhaps they could come out uh, or be dipped. It's a bugar. This is a great uh, Peter Hunt utensil tray signed. This does work. This is the um, Susan Baker light. And of course, Susan Baker is married to Keith Althaus. One of our great poets, and his poem down there. All right, that's coming over up there, Connie Black. And one of several John Harris. Can you tell I'm tired? And William Littlefield, it's an oil on paper. And Pam Hudson, I think, is the right name. That's really... Nice. And then we have a photographic print of a piece that Lyle Butts did of Will Fleet. It's like a silver gelatin. And another John Hare, back air. Harold Walker. Then we start over here. We're going to get to all of our, um, just a few works on paper. Okay, that's a pick now. Another John Hare up there. Got Michael Landis, and again, it is beautifully framed. Got all that reflection, apologies. George Elmer Brown print, Julian Levy, uh, Arthur Cohen, hand-colored etching. Come down here to the John Gregory, and then an Adele, Adele, the other Landis. Nice collage down here by William Littlefield. Gonna stop there and do one more, I think.